What's up, fight fans? All right, so um, remember hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you're not, come back to watch another video. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. My subscriber numbers are moving. They're growing finally. All right, let's talk about it then. So um, George Groves, we know, beat Jamie Cox. I've done a video for that. But let's talk about what we know is coming up in January or February. Kelly Salon said there's a chance that the fight might happen in February, um, which I think, I think they might try and push it back even further. I don't know if they've got commitments with ITV. Because it's going to be box office and pay-per-view, I don't know if it necessarily matters. I think they might try and push it further and try and get early spring. And um, we'll talk about the reasons for that in a minute. What we have got though, and I'm always fond of them, I have been throughout the year, is a big British domestic duster. And for me, as, um, as a boxing fan, uh, a British boxing fan, there's nothing better. Nothing better. And I've, I've grown up on these fights. I mean, I've been watching boxing since I was about eight or nine years old. Um, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but about eight or nine years old. And I've always grown up on big, big British domestic fights. And I've, they've always been, if you like, for me, the best fights. I, I just love, I love them. And we've got another one, right? We've got another one in the super middleweight division. It seems to be a division that we've had so much success with over the years. Obviously, from the early days of Ben and Eubank, when they went up to super middleweight, Carl Froch, Cal Zaggy, and the likes of DeGale, Groves, and now Eubank Jr. been added to it. And finally, we get to see, and this is why I probably like this tournament, because there is no hiding, there is no negotiations, there's none of that bullshit that stops boxing from growing. It's a simple case of, you win, you win, barring injuries, and both of these guys seem to be okay, I guess, with injuries. Maybe Chris Eubank has a, a bit of history of injuries, but barring injuries, we get to see these guys mix it in the ring, and that's what I can't wait to see. Now, I think the reason they might try and push it to March, maybe even April, I know that's pushing it, but maybe even April, is because Candy Sutherland knows it's a big fight. It's a big fight, right? Um, can it do O2 Arena? Absolutely. Of course it will do O2 Arena. I think he's thinking it could do somewhere even bigger than that. Um, look, I don't think it will do Wembley. Obviously not. It's not that big a fight. Um, but it, it can do an outdoor stadium. Remember, everyone thinks Wembley, Wembley all the time. 90,000. There are other football stadiums out there. There are other football stadiums out there. 30, 40, 50,000. I think it could do one of those. I really do think. If promoted correctly, both of them have enough in terms of how to promote a fight about them uh, in order to get the numbers through the turnstile. So I think... This could do 30, 40,000. So I think that's why they might try and push it to an outdoor stadium. And obviously, you don't want to do an outdoor stadium in January and February, especially not in the UK, because it will piss down. So there's a big chance they could maybe do this fight in the Olympic Stadium, obviously, where West Ham United Football Club play their home matches. So I think that's why they might try and push the fight just a bit, a couple of months back. And I think it's a good thing. I think it makes sense financially, obviously. And I think um, it gives the opportunity for people to get there and watch the fight. Um, O2 Arena tickets will sell out very quick and I think more people will want to watch this fight than maybe expected. Um, what does it do for James the Gill this? I, I don't know. I feel like because of James the Gill is not in the tournament and I think maybe at the beginning he probably he, he assumed that he was a big enough name not to be in the tournament. We know he's injured right now but I kind of wonder him not being in the tournament. I kind of wonder if his name's being forgotten. That's always been my criticism of James the Gill. Like, he doesn't get enough props. He doesn't know how to promote himself. And I think with Chris Eubank and George Groves both winning, both of their names being in the headlines, I think everyone's kind of forgot about James DeGale. And I'll, I wonder if James DeGale will fight the winner of this tournament. Um, if he's got anything written down in contract to fight the winner of the tournament. And um, if he hasn't, I think he should very, very quickly. Especially if that winner is Chris Eubank Jr. Can you imagine Chris Eubank Jr. versus James DeGale? Fantastic fight, fantastic promotion. But guys, what do you think? What's your initial thoughts on this? George Groves versus Chris Eubank Jr. I did say I think Chris Eubank Jr. wins. Um, it won't be easy. Uh, and I might change my mind before the fight happens. And I probably will. Um, when you look at George Groves' resume, it's a very, very good resume. Win or lose. And even the ones that he's lost, minus the Carl Froch knockout, I think he's looked good in the performances. Um, I think he looked good in the first fight against Carl Froch. I think he looked fantastic against Badu Jack. And obviously he's a world champion as well. So... It's not easy. It's not easy for him to to lose this one. But I think Chris Eubanks was the fresh of the two. I think George Rose looked a bit sloppy against Jamie Cox. And I think that Chris Eubank can exploit some of those holes. I think Chris Eubank's faster. I think Chris Eubank is a slicker boxer of the two. But again, I think George Rose is more powerful. Um, I think George Rose obviously has the experience. And like I said, George Rose is world champion. So 
ifs, buts, maybes, what we do know is this fight will happen next year, barring injuries. Let's pray to the injury god that none of these fighters get injured and we have another big British domestic dust-up. What do you guys think? Leave the comments below. Peace.